The Elements of Non-Euclidean Geometry by D. M. Y. Somerville Chapter 1. Historical Section 3. The Parallel Postulate Attempts to Prove It It seems impossible to suppose that Euclid never imagined this to be self-evident, yet the history of the theory of parallels is full of reproaches against the lack of self-evidence of this axiom. Sir Henry Seville referred to it as one of the great blemishes in the beautiful body of geometry. D'Alembert called it the scandal of the elements of geometry. The universal converse of the statement, if two straight lines crossed by a transversal meet, they will make the interior angles on the side less than two right angles, is proved with the help of another unexpressed assumption that the straight line is of unlimited length in proposition 17, while the contrapositive, if the interior angles on either side are not less than two right angles, i.e. by proposition 13, if they are equal to two right angles, the straight lines will not meet, is proved again with the same assumption in proposition 28. Such considerations induced geometers and others, even up to the present day, to attempt its demonstration. From the invention of printing onwards, a host of parallel postulate demonstrators existed, rivaled only by the circle squarers, the flat earthers, and the candidates for the Vorschel Fermat Prize. Great ingenuity was expended, but no advance was made towards the settlement of the question, for each successive demonstrator showed the falseness of his predecessor's reasoning, or pointed out an unnoticed assumption equivalent to the postulate which it was desired to prove. Modern research has vindicated Euclid and justified his decision in putting this great proposition among the independent assumptions which are necessary for the development of Euclidean geometry as a logical system. All this labor has not been fruitless, for it has led in modern times to a rigorous examination of the principles not only of geometry, but of the whole of mathematics and even logic itself, the basis of mathematics. It has had a marked effect upon philosophy and has given us a freedom of thought which in former times would have received the award meted out to the most deadly heresies. The Elements of Non-Euclidean Geometry This book was written by D. M. Y. Somerville, M. A. and Doctor of Science, it was published by the Open Court Publishing Company, London, G. Bell and Sons, LTD, in 1919, and now is in the public domain. It is being read by Jim Renholt, with programming and illustrations by Jim Renholt in 2019. Thank you for listening.